the sport of mixed martial arts, the difference between a win or a loss can happen at any moment. A single punch, a single takedown, or even a single mistake is what separates the champions from the contenders. When it's all over, a fighter's legacy is what's left behind. Now it's your turn to rewrite the legacy of a UFC fighter. With their talent in your hands, let's find out if you'll lead them into obscurity or into octagon glory. Great mixed martial artist has to start with the basics. There's more to fighting than knowing how to throw a punch or how to shoot for a takedown. You're going to need to put it all together if you want to compete against the best. You need cardio, footwork, an arsenal of attacks, and the ability to defend against every single one of them. Your training <laughs> begins now. Debuting in 2001, the World Fighting Alliance featured a Vegas nightclub atmosphere with some of the top talent in all of mixed martial arts. Future champions like Quentin Rampage Jackson, Rich Franklin, and Lyoto Machida all fought in the WFA before making their way to the Octagon. An impressive performance here will earn you a ticket to the big show. Your professional MMA career starts now.
going to drill transitions today. Let's focus on just changing positions. Looking slick. With yours pretty smooth. Don't let him. There you go. Good job. See that hard work pays off. Sweet transition. Nice movement there. Always be looking to improve. Come on. Fantastic. Nice technique. Less muscle, more technique. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Perfect. Looking slick. No, let's do it again. Ten seconds. Give it all you got. Pretty smooth. That's the best work I've seen out of you yet. Uh, my first professional fight was in the WEC. Uh, I was against Carlton Jones, kind of a local guy there in, in the Moore, California. He was a striker. So, uh, you know, I was a pure wrestler at the time, so obviously my goal was to get him to the ground. Uh, I, was, I was fortunate enough to get him up against the cage right away, and then he hit me with an elbow. And, and uh, I remember seeing stars, and, and uh, you know, the first thing that went through my head was, you know, this, this stuff's for real. Uh, you better get him to the ground now. And, uh, you know, I ended up getting him to the ground and uh, uh, getting him to tap out due to strikes from ground and pound.
It's hard to put into words the winning experience on a professional level, especially in the UFC. I mean, it, it's so important, these fights, and, and you put so much dedication and time and sacrifice into each fight. You're so worried that things aren't gonna go your way and that something's gonna happen that's gonna prevent you from winning. A lot of the times when the ref's pulling me off or I realize the fight's over, the first thing I think is like, no way, it's really over? Like, I, I can't believe that it's over and that I won. It's just such a, it's like one of those things that's so great, you just can't believe it's happening. And then, you know, over the next few seconds, you start grasping that you won and that all that hard work, all that dedication, all that sacrifice was for a reason and, and it came out in your favor. I mean, it, it really is one of the most unique feelings you'll ever experience. And it makes what I do worth it every day. Focus on your clinch right here. Strike from inside or set up the takedown. go. That hard work is paying off. Ten seconds, finish big! You only get out what you put in, man.
before fighting Czech Congo, Mir began a weight training program designed to help him match strength with the new breed of super heavyweights. Good job. His work ethics have improved tremendously. It's like a different person. Someone who slipped the big right hand. Yeah. Nice. Do it again. This guy's doing conditioning every day. He's he's in the mitts every day. He's working on his jujitsu, on his wrestling every day. I mean. He's a much better athlete, no doubt. I want to be the best at everything. I want to outback Mike Tyson. I'm going to out-wrestle Alexander Krellin. I want to choke out Roger Gracie. And until I can do that, I'm not satisfied with myself. Ready? Let's fight! 